But first tonight at 6 o'clock, Indianapolis has a new plan to fight crime. The city is hiring federal attorneys in an effort to get violent repeat criminals off the streets. WRTV's Adam Shumes explains how the plan could make a noticeable difference, perhaps in cases like the one he's about to share. Tom Ellis is full of life. Um, I just turned 84 two weeks this Friday. They had a birthday party for me. Despite living with Parkinson's disease, he can still crack some jokes with his family. It didn't want a party. I had a good time. But his family says Tom had his sense of safety taken away over the weekend. I was ashamed and embarrassed. If they really needed money, I should have just gave it to them. It's mind-boggling to me to see how far down the city has come. Over the weekend, Tom's family says he was robbed by a group of people. It was all caught on camera. They could have killed him. In the video provided by Tom's family, you can see multiple people get out of a van. They say Tom was confronted and Tom tried to fight back and then the group got away. They believe the people were armed. A police report states he was robbed of $2,000. It's scary. I mean, I, I don't know how you go out to dinner at night and expect to be safe. You see, unfortunately, and we keep seeing in the state of Indiana, especially recently, the number of offenders who have shown themselves to be violent to those who are closest to them. City and state leaders are looking to hire three special U.S. attorneys. They'll focus on getting the most serious violent offenders off the streets. It's all part of the city's plan to get violence under control. It's still too early to tell if Tom's incident rises to a federal crime, but police are investigating. We're going to be using them to develop proactive cases to investigate you know, the sources of a crime gun that might be found at a scene, not just hold the shooter accountable, but figure out how'd they, how'd they get that gun. The attorneys will serve as federal prosecutors who focus exclusively on investigating and prosecuting violent crimes in Marion County, and in turn, getting the most violent offenders off the streets. The consequences in federal court are different, and we're able to protect the community through things like pretrial detention. I don't have the answer. I mean, if, if there was an answer, I think we, we would do it. For Tom's family, they're hoping the answers are in the solutions that city and state leaders are coming to the table with. Shooting each other is not the answer. It, it just walk away. In Indianapolis, Adam Shumes, WRTV. The U.S. Attorney's Office says there is no timetable on when these attorneys are expected to start. But if you know someone who wants to apply to be a special assistant U.S. attorney, get in contact with the city of Indianapolis. That information is up on our website, WRTV.com.